Okay. <laughs> Minyak. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining. Okay. So, uh, we are on Glamour Mix Airways today and we are flying to Bangkok. Okay. So, let me start. Selamat pagi tuan-tuan dan puan-puan. Saya Captain Azrin daripada Deck Penerbangan. Bagi pihak anak-anak kapal, Katriona, Shatini, Zarina dan Nazra. Pertama sekali ingin saya ucapkan terima kasih kerana bersama kami dalam penerbangan Glamour Mix Airways ke Bangkok. Masa penerbangan dijangkakan lebih kurang 2 jam dan cuaca dan perjalanan dijangkakan baik. Saya akan bersama anda semula sebelum penerbangan turun bersama dengan ramalan cuaca terkini. Sehingga itu, saya berharap anda akan menikmati penerbangan kami dan juadah yang kami akan hidangkan hari ini. Terima kasih. <laughs> Okey tak? <laughs> okay, so before we take off, okay, I nak tanya. You all nak kita masak when we are on the way to Bangkok or kita nak masak bila kita sampai ke Bangkok. Okay, so <coughs> type 1, hello. You all nak anak-anak kapal masak on the way to Bangkok. Okay. Okay, and type 2, kalau nak sampai Bangkok baru kita masak. Okay. Oh, okay. You all nak anak-anak kapal masak on the way. Okay. Banyak satu. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to get the co-pilot to fly the plane. Okay. While we take off. I'm going to do a bit of introduction about thermomix and then kita bagi anak-anak kapal kita start masak untuk you all. Okay? Alright. Okay, so what is important to you uh, when it comes to cooking? Okay, so you all kalau nak masak ni apa yang penting? Okay, kena boleh save duit ke? So just type in the chat kalau you penting untuk save duit. Okay, kalau kena senang dan cepat and then kena healthy, okay, kena makanan yang so healthy and you want to make sure that you are creative with your cooking. Okay, you tak nak lah masak nasi goreng je tiap hari untuk your family kan. Okay, or you care about time saving. You tak nak duduk dekat kitchen the whole day. Okay, so which one is important to you when you cook? Okay, nak save duit ke, kena senang ke, healthy ke? creative or time saving. Okay, so you can type in the chat. Okay, so for me, I kena something yang senang dan cepat lah and also healthy because I have two kids in the house. So I cannot like do order grab food ke, but do not, I must make sure I have home cooked meals for them. Okay, so these are important for me. So that's one of the reasons why I dapatkan Thermomix. Okay, so background about Thermomix ni. So the uh, brand Forwag, okay, it's, Germ it's from Germany. It's been around for more than 135 years. Memang dah lama sangat brand ni dekat this dunia, okay? So, it's not just calang-calang brand baru keluar satu tahun, dua tahun, but it's been around for 135 years. Okay, so kalau you tengok, dia orang dah menang banyak sangat awards when it comes to their technology. Okay, macam-macam awards dia dah menang. Okay, design, technology. Okay, and they are in 80 countries worldwide. Okay, bukan just Malaysia. Imagine banyak countries all over Malaysia memang orang tahu pasal Thermomix ni. Okay, so background about Thermomix itself. This is the ninth generation, generation ke-9. Okay, so the first one came out in the 1960s. Okay, so dia orang start dengan blender dulu and then dia orang add the heating functions. But dekat Europe kan, dekat Germany, so dia orang suka makan soup, benda-benda macam tu, so dia orang nak add the heating function. Okay, so and then later on, TM31 came to Malaysia about, I think, 2009 macam tu. Okay, dah lama dah. And then TM6 came in 2019. Okay, so quite baru lagi. And kalau you tanya when is TM7, it's going to take a while. Because this machine ada Wi-Fi connection. Just like your phone, you just have to update your software and you get new functions. Okay, tak payah nak beli add-on lah, nak kena bayar extra things for new functions. Okay, and one is sold every 23 seconds. So, kita duduk sini, fly, di Bangkok ni, berapa banyak dah orang beli Thermomix while we are talking kat sini. Okay, so, a bit about the accessories. Okay, so, bila you beli Thermomix ni, you akan dapat all the accessories. So, you boleh masak straight away. Tak payah nak beli extra, ni, sana, apa semua. You can straight away masak je. 
Okay, so the first one is my favorite. It's called simmering basket. Okay, so my favorite sebab I suka makan nasi. Okay, so dalam ni you boleh masak uh, around 350 grams of rice or 3.5 cups. Okay, so you letak beras dalam ni, you basuh and then you letak dalam the mixing bowl. Okay, so imagine ada beras dalam ni and then air dekat bawah tu once you dah habis masak nasi, kalau you angkat ni, you tengok kat dalam air tu semua dat, ya, kat bawah tu putih. Okay, so that is your kanji. Okay, um, or starch. So you will get low GI rice bila you masak nasi dengan thermomix. So it becomes very healthy lah. So you tak payah beli low GI rice anymore. Okay, so while it, imagine rice kat dalam ni panas. Okay, we have our spatula untuk keluarkan the simmering basket. Okay, so dia ada hook kat sini. Okay, and there's also a hole on the simmering basket tu. You boleh actually angkat the long term. Okay, so everything is well designed, very thoughtful. Actually, 120 engineers came up with this machine. Okay, so you just buka macam ni, kalau you ada veggie ke, you skin potatoes ke, you boleh just tuang. Okay, so this one helps to pick up the steaming basket while it's hot. Okay, so you can also steam lah kalau small portions of veggies ke, kalau you nak buat makanan untuk anak-anak ke, baby, you boleh steam potatoes or veggies in here juga. Okay, so you can also use this as a strainer. Kalau you buat lemonade or our calamansi asam boy juice, lepas you dah habis blend the fruits, you akan letak dalam ni, jadi strainer, and then you akan pour into the jug. Okay, so multi-function this one. And then we have our lid. Okay, so lid ni kena tutup. Kalau dia tak tutup, dia tak ada atas ni. Okay, this locking arm dia tak boleh nak tutup, it will not start. Okay, so it's very safe. So kalau you ada anak-anak ke, Dia orang nak, you know, nak cuba start ke but if the lid is not on, it's not closed properly, dia tak akan start, okay? So if it doesn't start, then the, apa, the blade tak akan turn. So it's very safe. Okay, and we also have this thing called measuring cup because dalam ni ada 50 ml and 100 ml punya mark. So kalau let's say lah you are baking, you dah ada tepung kat dalam ni and then you nak tuang oil ke water ke, kalau you tak confident nak tuang daripada the bottle itself, you boleh pour dalam ni dulu and then you boleh pour slowly dari atas. Okay, so kalau you turn over, susah lah nak buat keluar kan dah wasted the batter kat dalam. Okay, so this measuring cup, so most of the cooking akan suruh you tutup. Okay, so you tutup macam tu. Some recipes will tell you without, so you just leave it like that and you turn it on. Okay, so kalau you buat ice cream, dia akan suruh you buka the measuring cup and you just suruh you masuk this spatula dekat dalam and stir. So don't be afraid, kita ada stopper ni, dia tak akan bagi this um, apa, spatula touch the blade. Okay, so it's very safe. So you just stir macam tu je. Okay, and one more thing about the spatula ni, kalau you nampak, if you put on the table, okay, it will not will not roll. And then kalau you ada makanan-makanan kat sini, ada sisa sikit, dia takkan touch the um, apa, the surface. So it's very hygienic lah. Okay, so this one is also very, very well designed. Okay, and then we also have butterfly. Okay, so butterfly ni kita guna untuk whipping. So kalau you nak buat your own whipped cream, you nak buat your egg whites, okay, your whipped egg whites, and then you nak buat your kaya. Okay, all you have to do is just letak dalam the mixing bowl. Okay, letak je macam tu. Okay, and dia akan turn for however long lah. So kalau you buat kaya, 40 minutes, dia akan pusing, jadi dia akan wait for you. So kaya, imagine kalau you buat traditionally, you have to stand over the stove for one half hours and stir yourself, betul tak? So this butterfly, dia akan tolong you, okay? So some cakes will require you to use butterfly juga, but some tak. So kalau the recipe uh, tak suruh, tak perlu letak, okay? Because memang some tak perlu, some perlu. Okay, and then we also have uh, this thing called flash that, okay? So PM6 ni, you can actually do high temperature cooking. Okay, so you can get more aromatic in your flavor. So when you use um, apa, high temperature recipes, they can suruh letak um, this splash guard. Okay, so just letak macam ni to avoid all splattering and they can lock sekali dengan the bowl. Okay, so this is only for high temperature or when you do macam caramel or you nak buat your own lollipop, they can suruh letak. Okay. And then we also have Paroma, okay? 
So this is called Varoma. Varoma ni kalau you nak steam. Okay, how you use it is you letak ke atas ni. Macam ni. Okay, so dia ada two layers. One is called Varoma dish. Okay, so besar ni, this whole thing is about 3.3 meter. You boleh letak a whole chicken dalam ni. Okay, kalau you nak buat ayam polet, you akan letak the whole chicken without the tray lah. Okay, so tray ni is the second layer. So you can remove it. So kalau you tak nak, uh, you tak buat benda yang besar ke macam ayam kulit tu, you can put let's say veggie kat bawah and you can letak your fish kat atas and then you can steam together. Okay, so this is called Varoma and you use when, when you want to steam something. Okay, other than that, you can use it as a colander. Kalau you nak letak your pasta ke, you nak letak your salad ke, you nak buang the air, you can just shake it, okay, or like you nak trim your pasta. And you can even, kalau you nak sterilize baby bottles pun, you can use your varoma. Okay, so you can even, uh, apa, you nak steam your pulut dalam ni, masak nasi pun boleh. So macam-macam use for our varoma. Okay, so you will get all these accessories when you get your thermomates. Okay, so the main thing is our mixing bowl. Okay, so this is our mixing bowl. There are the blade kat dalam tu and the blade must always be inside when you want to use. Okay, bila you nak masak ke apa, blade tu kena ada dalam. Kalau tak ada blade, dia tak akan start. Okay. So, kalau you tengok blade ni, kita actually ada dua side. The only machine in the world as far as I know yang ada dua uh, side. Okay, ada, uh, dia kan dia boleh go two ways. Okay, which is clockwise and also anti-clockwise. So, one side is sharp and the other side is blunt. So, kalau you nak chop, you use the sharp side and if you want to stir your food, you use the blunt side, okay? So that's actually a small button on the screen, okay? Kalau you uh, press that small button, dia akan activate the reverse button, okay? So the um, mixing bowl is 2.2 liter and it's stainless steel, okay? So kalau orang selalu tanya, kalau you masak sambal, lepas tu you buat lemonade, lemonade you tak bau sambal ke? Tak, okay? Sebab stainless steel ni, they actually dia tak absorb bau, so you can make your lemonade right after you masak your sambal, okay? Just give it a rinse and then you can go straight to your drink, okay? So this is a very, very high quality mixing bowl, okay? And last but not least is our machine, okay? Our moto, which is memang tak ada orang boleh copy lah, okay? So our moto is a frictionless moto. So because of that, kalau uh, benda ni nak run for two, three days pun tak apa, okay? Because when it's frictionless, dia tak generate heat. So, kalau you masak lama pun, kalau you pegang kat body ni memang tak panas. Kalau you masak, benda ni uh, turn to red means it's 60 degrees and above. Okay, so when that happens, kalau you ada kids around, just make sure dia orang tak touch the bowl lah. Okay, but everything else tak akan panas. Okay, there's no fan to cool it down so it can last you easily 10 to 15, even up to 20 years. Okay, orang yang guna TM31 tu still uh, using until today. Okay, very good condition still. Okay, so that is our machine, our Thermomix TM6. And if you see here, we have our 6.8 inch screen, colored. Okay, just like your phone, very user friendly. You can scroll to this side. Kalau you nak search for recipes, and kalau you scroll to this side, you can get our modes. Okay, so this is the main screen, which is three downs. All you need to do to learn is the three dials, okay? Time, temperature, and speed. So it's very user-friendly. Senang sangat nak belajar. Even if you have kids, they are memang cepat sangat. Uh, pada guna just like the iPad lah. Okay, so my kids pun memang, dia tahu apa nak tekan lah, nak tekan ni untuk uh, apa, nak stop the sounds pun dia tahu apa nak buat. Okay, so that's our machine. Alright, so the price. Okay, it's actually 7 one Eight eight, tapi kita now ada two hundred ringgit rebate, so it's six nine eight eight. Okay, and if you take our financing option, it starts at two hundred and ninety one a month. Okay, which is around nine ringgit a day. What can you get for nine ringgit a day now? Okay, nine ringgit pun dah grab punya delivery fee, right? So invest in the thermomix. Okay, it's sangat sangat um uh, berbaloi because dia boleh replace so many appliances. Okay, so Thermomix ni is actually just like your phone. Okay, dulu, before we had our smartphone, whenever we go out, kalau nak ambil gambar, we have to have our camera with us. Kalau you jenis yang suka tulis, nak tulis notes, you have to bring your notebook, betul tak? And then you have to bring your, kalau you suka dengan music, you have to bring your Walkman ke, your CD-man ke. 
Okay, now our phone is everything. Some people cannot live without their phone, betul tak? So, sama dengan Thermomix ni. Okay, so your phone is all in one. This is the equivalent of the kitchen appliance. Okay, all in one. All you need is here. Okay, we have 24 functions and counting because like I said earlier, this is Wi-Fi connected. From time to time, kita ada uh, new functions. All you have to do is update your software and you get the new functions for free. Okay, so you pay one price today, but you will keep on adding value to your mach machine. Okay, so you can see here, we have so many um, apa, functions. Okay, but my favorite is kneading. I like to bake. Okay, so I dah jual my kitchen aid and I kept and gave away so many of my appliances. So my kitchen is clean lah. Tak ada banyak barang pun. Because I'm quite an OCD person juga. So I give it away or jual je. Okay, so I have one. And then if you want, you can have another Thermomix because it represents your stove. We have usually two to three stoves kat rumah kan? So once you find the value in one, you would want to get your second one. Okay, but if you want to get your second one for free, let us know. Okay, so it's your perfect kitchen assistant even if you are single. Kita ada ramai orang yang single pun guna juga Thermomix because even if you are single, you are working, you are busy, so this one will help you in the kitchen. And a lot of people nowadays, they are very health conscious. Okay, so we have a lot of recipes yang kalau you are looking for keto recipes or low protein, we have a lot of collections on this. Okay, and then if you are a newlywed or you nak kahwin dah, this is the perfect hantaran gift. Okay, so ask your parents or parents-in-law, okay, and then you letak je bowl ni atas tray tu. Okay, this is the perfect one before. You start getting so many appliances for your new home, get a thermomix. Okay, and then when you have kids, this will be your baby food processor. Okay, tak perlu dah beli beba apa semua, I dulu pun guna. Tapi in the end, I took out my pots and pans juga sebab I nak buat batch cooking and actually beba tu kecil je kan. So imagine this 2.2 liter bowl, you can make batch cooking for 2-3 weeks pun kalau you nak. And we have plenty of baby and kids punya recipe in Tukibu juga. Okay. And for our parents and grandparents punya age, you know, dia orang dah penat, dia orang maybe tak boleh nak diri lama sangat. So they can sit down and cook with the mix. Okay. And it's a one hand operated machine. Okay, uh, you, so you tak payah nak guna a lot of uh, energy when you cook with Thermomix. And at the end of the day, you only have one bowl to wash. Okay, so less cleaning. And even then, kita ada our pre-clean mode. Okay, so it helps you clean your bowl for you. Okay, so now of me talking, I want to introduce our four anak-anak kapal that's going to cook for you today. So the first one, kita ada, uh, I call her Auntie Kimi. Okay, she's going to do our Thai milk tea. Okay, and then after that, kita ada Nazra, who's going to do coconut vanilla ice cream. And then kita ada Zarina, Tom Yam Champo. And to end the show, kita ada Katriona of Cupcat, our latest advisor, who's going to do Thai muscles for us. Okay, so enjoy the flight, sit back and relax. Okay, now I'm going to pass the screen to uh, Auntie Kimi. Thank you. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Okay, Assalamualaikum, selamat pagi. Uh, selamat berhujung minggu. Um, dan uh, happy holiday untuk yang bersekolah. Actually, ialah bila kita duduk dalam rumah, kita dah tak ingat kan anak-anak cuti. So this week is a school holiday. I'm a teacher, jadi school holiday is something yang menung yang ditunggu-tunggu. Dan actually, kalau lah bukan pandemik, maybe aku memang... Memang originality memang fly ke Bangkok lah kot eh. Uh, one of our plan lah sebenarnya. Okay, never mind. While um, apa ni, the captain fly the the flight. Kita biasalah kalau kita naik flight kan, dia akan bagi minuman. So, uh, sementelah untuk menunggu dan mula-mula kita take off, uh, kita minum dulu. Alright. Okay, saya apa yang nak tunjuk hari ni ialah um, is it, it is in the cookie do. Nama dia Uh, saya baca kot Thai ya. Cha Dam Yen. Uh, siapa tahu Cha Dam Yen tu apa? Uh, boleh tak? <laughs> siapa suka makan Thai ice tea? Kan? Betul tak? Siapa suka makan? Cuba masukkan nombor satu. Alright. Uh, saya ni memang 
peminat teh <laughs> bukannya kopi. Kopi tu kalau orang cerita kopi tu sedap kopi ni saya tak, tak pandai nak nak sebut. Tapi kalau tea um, very fond lah. Okey. Sebelum uh, tak nak buang masa, kita go through it. Saya dah letak dalam cookie do uh, dalam my week uh, namanya dalam bahasa Inggeris lah kalau dalam cookie do ni namanya Thai iced tea. So dalam um, kalau di Thai nama dia ialah cha dam yen. Cha tu for tea, dam tu untuk um, apa black tea. Okay, cha dam tu black tea nanti cat mungkin boleh sebutlah kot very yang yang betul-betul original sebutan mungkin saya ni jadi pelat lah sikit pelat kan pelat okey sorry pelat lah uh, Thai Thai pelat punya lah cha dam yen yen tu is for sejuk. Alright. Okay, so ada dah ada dalam ni kalau you nampak Uh, Thai iced tea. So, saya just tekan. Dia akan terus pergi ke start cooking. Okay, hari ni saya guna cookie dough. Tak guna yang manual. Okay, just follow this one. Saya suka uh, guna cookie dough ni sebab tak payah nak pening-pening nak nak set uh, masa kan. Tapi sebenarnya tak adalah pening kan. Tapi yang ni dia very light. Tak payah fikir panjang lah kan. Just follow je. Uh, macam tu. Okay. Tu. Jadi hari ni sebelum actually Thai ni dia datang daripada asalnya daripada silang tea, tree dan um, banyak yang ditanam di apa utara Thai. Uh, lepas tu kalau kita minum Thai tea di restoran semua, kita rasa heran kan kenapa rasa tak sama dengan yang Thai. So sebenarnya bila Google through it dan tengok pada dalam cookie do, this is the original lah kot kan uh, Thai iced tea ni. Dia taruh, uh, memanglah betul dia taruh uh, apa, dark tea ni Okay, Thai, uh, apa panggil? Teh yang gelap tu kan, <laughs> teh hitam Dan saya dapat daripada my personal shopper, cewa Ada sepersen personal shopper dari Kelantan uh, Belikan ini Okay, sama juga dengan green tea Okay, kalau kita tengok Google, this is the best one lah Alright Best lah kononnya, tapi best lah, memang sedap Okay, apa yang dia suruh buat ialah dia suruh masukkan sugar. Okey, yang saya kata pelik tu sebab nanti tengok apa yang ni. Ini saya dah timbang ya. Saya buat dalam three quarter of the recipe sebab one quarter dia banyak sangat. <laughs> Okey, ni saya guna brown sugar. Okey. And then kita next, dia suruh bubuh a um, star anise. Okey, apa dah nama dia? <laughs> ah, yang ni kan ah, Saya letak satu sebab saya, saya kurangkan Rupanya this is the Apa ah, panggil secret ingredient For the ah, Thai iced tea ni Dia letak rempah you ah, Nampak kan ah, Dia suruh siap letak apa start ini Kita letak leh macam ceni ni Masuk and then Green cardamom ah, Ni satu hal juga green cardamom Memang green nampak saya dapat uh, apa ilmu daripada my friend yang Indian dia kata kalau nak beli cardamom yang fresh cari yang hijau bukan yang warna coklat tu. Okey. And then two whole cloves. Saya cak ambil yang paling kecil sebab saya saya cut off the dia punya the ingredient yang betul-betul. So nak masuk sini apa dia nak buat ni sebenarnya dia nak grind everything nak bagi hancur. Lepas ni 10 saat saya tak boleh bercakap Nanti tak dengar sebab guna speed yang paling kuat eh, Yang paling laju Sorry Okay 10 second Dengan kelajuan speednya uh, 10 Alright 1, 2, 3 Okay oh, Okay dan puluh saat nampak berasap tadi kan kenapa sebab ha oh, kan tu berasap bukan panas ya <laughs> ni jadi serbu okey si ah dah bau dia best sangat ya Allah akbar ah tu dia kan sangat halus ha inilah dia function thermometer yang saya buat saya jatuh kita beberapa kali every time guna okey apa kena buat ah dia suruh letak simmering basket tapi saya tak nak letak Uh, main jahat sikit <laughs> And then letak air Okay, masukkan air je Alright And then Next Okay, dia suruh Apa dia nak buat ni tau, dia nak brew the tea actually 
Dia nak panaskan dia supaya the aroma tu lagi best. Okay. Yang ni saya guna air, air panas dah. Saya kurangkan sikit nanti lama pula kan masa. Okey dengan uh, apa? Dengan suhu 100 kalau ikut kukidu ni dia dalam Fahrenheit. Dengan bimbang dia akan bertukar-tukar. Dia pandai tukar sendiri. Dan kita tak perlu risau-risau. Eh kenapa tiba-tiba Fahrenheit? Tadi saya sias. Ah, tak payah pening ya. Ah, jangan pening. Sebab saya dulu pening lah sebenarnya. <laughs> Terkejut tengok terus call Azrin. Ni kenapa? Tak apa dia akan tukar sendiri. Oh okey lega. Okey. Okey, berapa-berapa kan. Okey, ceritalah sikit nak tunggu 10 minit, 8, 8 minit ni. Panjang juga tu boleh cerita. Okey, one of, saya nak cerita pasal T dulu. Okey, lepas tu kita pergi ke apa, dia punya fast, fast and fresh every day. Teh ni sebenarnya dia ada kebaikan rupanya. Okey, kalau kita tengok ramai orang buat research about T. About T. Okey, uh, pertama sekali kebaikan dia antaranya ialah dia jaga usus kita dia jaga untuk pencernaan for your information saya dua tiga hari ni try teh ni kan tea ice tea ni saya try macam-macam buat ais lah buat yang panas lah uh, laju je masuk ke tandas ha, tak payah pening-pening dia automatik tau ha, macam tu so rupanya bila saya research tengok betul lah dia untuk usus dia jaga pencernaan sebab dia ada kandungan polyphenol nama dia okay? Kalau siapa yang tahu, maybe baguslah. Ya, yeah. okay. Kemudian dia untuk juga untuk diet. That's why ada setengah-setengah orang jual teh kurus semua kan. Uh, kita tak tahu isi kandungan dia actually kan. Jadi a bit bahaya lah. Okay. Se tapi sebenarnya betul lah. Uh, teh ni untuk tingkatkan daya metabolik. That's why dia boleh jadi kurus. Okay. Mungkin sebab saya kurus, sebab saya suka teh agaknya kan. <laughs> tak tahu lah. Okay. Kemudian yang ketiganya dia boleh elakkan, dia boleh kurangkan risiko stroke. Um, ada kajian saya baca about, tebal jugalah beberapa pages, about 20 plus pages, dia cerita tentang uh, kurangnya risiko untuk orang yang nak mengidap kanser to 21%. Dia buat kajian ni pada 19,000 orang, dia bagi minum teh ya, dalam 2 hingga 3, bukan tin ya, 2 hingga 3 cawan dia satu hari. So from that uh, research, dia dapati ada lebih kurang 21% boleh reduce the stroke. Okey lah kan. Okey kemudian dia boleh kurangkan risiko kanser sebenarnya. Okey sebab dia ada antioksiden dan juga dia boleh tingkatkan fokus. So siapa-siapa yang kurang fokus, alertness kurang. So bolehlah bagi teh. Ya, tapi make sure teh tu teh yang bagus lah. Okey sebab dia boleh tingkatkan uh, fokus sebab dia ada asid amino rupanya dalam teh. Alright. And then, okay, cerita balik pasal uh, teh Thai ni. Dalam kita tengok kan, di kedai kita nampak orang jual teh macam-macam perisa. Sebenarnya teh ni dia, actually daripada daun teh tu, dia boleh keluarkan olong tea, um, silon, uh, white tea and green tea. Okay, jadi green tea ni dia a bit, uh, dia, dia panggil apa eh? Dia tak di... Uh, um, oxidize. That, that's why dia macam warna hijau kan. Uh, okay. And then kita tengok sini. Fast and fresh every day. Okay. Dengan uh, apa? Dengan thermomix ni, kita boleh sediakan air yang fresh dan fast. Uh, nampak kan tadi 10 saat je semua dah hancur kan. Cuba bayangkan. Saya ada blender. Dulu try lah apa? Grind uh, kayu manis kan. And, and that uh, dia punya blade tu yang macam uh, ter, apa terkopek-terkopek sikit uh, kan lepas tu panas motor dia macam Azrin beritahu tadi dia frictionless ok ini ate uh, kalau paling best first kali kalau you all beli thermomix ataupun you all tengok demo the first best uh, air yang selalu kita serve ialah lemonade sangat sedap ya tak percaya try alright 6 saat pula tu, nak, nak sediakan tu 6 saat, bukannya lama. Kemudian tak payah nak kita nak perah-perah macam biasa tu kan. Orang biasa, biasa bila sebut ni lima ni, alamak kena perah, kena cari bekas kan. No need, okay? Ha, no need. Tak perlu, dia je buat semua. And then one more thing is, dia boleh keluarkan essential oil from the kulit. Sebab kulit kita tak payah kupas, okay? Untuk siapa yang belum ada thermomix. Buat lima minit dengan thermomix, kita tak payah kupas kulit pun. Just put in, apa? Potong dua je. Ada dalam my IG ya, eh, cara buat lemonade. Enam saat. Okey. Sekarang yang ni kita tengah buat. 
Okay, eh, tak adalah. Bubar ni inspiration sebenarnya. Actually, bubar bubble tea ni is coming from Taiwan. Asal dia, bukan Thai. Yeah, dia, apa panggil, dia variasikan apa, uh, teh. Sorry, sorry. Uh, teh untuk minum lah. Kan kat restoran-restoran nak bagi macam-macam. Okay, kemudian. Um, satu lagi dia, kalau di Thai, dia bestnya ialah nama dia Cha Ma Nau. Saya duduk baca namanya kan sebut, salah sebut. Ma, apa marah nanti Kat. <laughs> okay. Sorry Kat kalau saya salah sebut. La, ta, lime Thai Tea. Nama dia Cha Ma Nau. Okay. Dalam, bah dalam bahasa Thailand. Kemudian kalau minum hot, dia akan jadi Cha Dan, cha dan Rom. Rom tu panas. Okay, yang ni kita boleh minum panas. Dah ada gula tadi kan. So lepas ni dah boleh minum dah. Sip dah. Senang-senang je macam tu. Okay. Lepas tu kalau kita letak milk. Dia jadi pula um, carong. Ha, tai, ta, apa? Susu. Teh susu. Carong. Panas. Okay. Panjang cerita pasal teh. Alright. Kita tengok pula. Tadi saya tak cakap kan. Kita boleh uh, apa panggil. Uh, kita boleh timbang. Accuracy dia 1 gram tau. Uh, Thermomix ni. So tak payahlah buka lagi measuring scale yang kita ada. Eh, measuring tu. Yang penimbang yang kita ada tu tak perlu guna lagi dah. Okay, semua kat sini. Saya nak timbang tu semua kat sini. Boleh letak bowl kat atas ni. Why? Dia cooking ni actually kita boleh juga timbang. Okay, kita pergi ke yang ada dot 3. Kita pilih scale. Kita boleh timbang. The next apa yang kita nak guna. Okay. <coughs> Okey, tengok pula kat sini. Ki, uh, satu lagi the, kebaikan thermomix ni kita boleh masak ikut uh, temperature. Perfect temperature control namanya kan. Okey, tadi as in dia sebut makan baby, makanan baby kan. So, makanan baby kita boleh sediakan uh, susu sebab dia boleh kita boleh kontrolkan temperature dia tu uh, pada 37 darjah Celsius. Lepas tu kita boleh buat melting chocolate. Ah uh, ini dulu kalau saya lah buat kek konon ni nak buat ganache tu kan. Kek yang ada milk, coklat tu konon kan. Tiba-tiba jadi keras, tak jadi kan. Keras, ha, macam tu lah terpaksa makan anak-anak kan. Yang mak dia buat entah apa-apa. Ha, bukan apa, saya bukan ambil ha, jurusan <laughs> food catering kan. Tak belajar lah benda tu. So, tengok, tengok YouTube Google pun masih fail. Tapi dengan ha, Thermomix, Tak dah tak fail lagi dah. Semua lulus cemerlang A plus lagi. Ha, macam tu. Okay ini 50% 50% pula. 50, uh, suhu dia 50% 50%, 50% suhu. <laughs> dah dah selesai. Masya Allah. Melting chocolate. Lepas tu nak buat um, apa? Use of gelatin. Ha, ni nak nak buat uh, apa? Puding kan? Ha, dessert semualah. Ha, ini saya pernah buat semua ni. Ha, jangan cerita. Semua saya buat dah. Okey, kemudian uh, nak baby uh, ni je saya tak buat sebab saya dah tak ada baby kan. Kalau mungkin cucu-cucu, um, kakak datang uh, gunalah ni. Eh? Tapi dia orang pun semua dah ada thermomix. Anak-anak buah saya tiga orang semua dah ada. Okey, uh, beli untuk wife. Katanya mudah nanti wife nak masak. Alright. Kemudian uh, brew tea. Uh, ini yang kita buat sekarang. Okay? Nah, satu nak tunjuk tak. You all, brew tea, kopi, apa-apa saja. Uh, panas. Uh, apa uh, minuman actually dia ada suhu yang uh, apa yang uh, dah sepatutnya at the right temperature lah ha, senang cerita ini tiga tiga saat lagi dan saya sediakan ini okay siapa nak screenshot screenshot lah kan boleh buat referral uh, ini eh. the best thing is this one lah guna cookie do eh bukan guna thermomix kita boleh Tahu suhu kalau guna kettle mode. Okay. Ha, dah. Screenshot okay. Alright. Ha, macam kat sekolah pula. <laughs> Ada apa cat-cat macam ni kan. Okay then. Apa lagi? Ha, kita buat kaya. Saya buat kaya dulu kecil-kecil. Dengan mama, mama saya. Arwah mama saya. Belajar. Tapi actually bagus lah. Dan penat sebenarnya. Buat kaya kacau-kacau-kacau supaya tak nak berkecil. Dengan termomik siap, bukan kita je kacau, dia kacaukan. Kita tak payah risau. Datang cantik je. <laughs> that, that one very nice lah, trust me. Then you all boleh control sugar kan pada siapa yang ada diet. Yang on diet, sugar control very good. 
You all boleh pilih apa yang you nak. Dan masuk je dalam ni, dalam buat yang cantik sekali. And then browning, ah. ini, ini satu lagi kegemaran saya. Browning ni saya buat goreng, goreng apa? Goreng, dan goreng, goreng kitab dan saya beli daging harimau menangis yang pada viral tu. I just put inside here, saya guna browning punya mode, dia guna heighten mode. Yeah, dan dia jadi cantik. Jadi, tak adalah berkecah kan dah tu. <laughs> mecik-mecik kena tangan, aduk-aduk, tak ada dah. Anak saya dah ok dah sekarang masak sebab tak mecik-mecik tangan dia. <laughs> Rupanya dia tak nak masak because of dia. Ok, siap ni. Sorry ya, eh. tak tukar tadi. Ok, now, ni turun letak. Ah, tak boleh tunjuk dah lah sebab panas ni, eh. sorry. Ok, ni teh saya dah masukkan dalam untang. Aku nak tahu saya beli bag dia ni kat mana ada dalam Shopee je. Okay. Masuk je saya dah siap-siap sini. Senang. Okey, senang nanti kalau you all nak buat teh tarik just put in tak payah nak tapis-tapis tapi lepas ni saya kena kupis juga sebab ada rempah tadi kan. Okey, lepas ni dah dia nak masak tadi brew tadi. Tadi dia apa? Dia masakkan rempah. The spice tadi yang ni dia nak brew the tea. Okey, dia dah set the temperature dan juga masa dan saya just tekan a uh, mode untuk on dia je dia punya speed. Okey, after 4 minit saya dah siap, saya akan guna ini untuk tapis dan uh, saya akan campur dengan condensed milk. Condensed milk ni pun saya buat sendiri. Okey, boleh control the Uh, the sugar, sugar level. Alright. Uh, <laughs> legend ni betul. <laughs> kan? <laughs> dah banyak kali dah hitam beli lain, hitam beli lain. Tak apa kan? Uh, dia memang okey lah. Okay. Saya pass to uh, next after this. Saya pass to Nazra to another dish. Kita belum sampai Bangkok. <laughs> Makan pula. Eh, tak. Dessert. Uh, dessert juga. Okay. Back to you. Na back to Nazra. See you later. Bye bye. Hai, thanks Aunty Kimi. Assalamualaikum. Hai, nama saya Nazra. Okay, ni saya macam setiap benda setakat. Okay, first of all, um, welcome to Glamour Mix uh, flight. Thank you so much for uh, flying with us, Jewa. <laughs> so, hari ni, okay, because semua orang uh, duduk, kita belum sampai lagi di Thailand, okay. Semua orang masih uh, well seated and because you all are sitting on a first class, okay. Mahal, okay. First class, you all are sitting on first class. Kita akan serve you a very nice dessert, which is um, coconut vanilla sorbet with magic chocolate topping. Okay, because bila kita relate dengan uh, Thailand, okay, dessert-dessert dekat Thailand banyak yang menggunakan coconut. Okay, so hari ini saya akan bawakan anda a special dessert from Thailand. Okay, so before I begin, saya just nak explain to you about cookie dough because hari ini saya akan menggunakan uh, resipi daripada cookie dough. So I'm just going to explain a little bit about cookie dough first. Okay, what is cookie dough? For those yang tak ada lagi thermomix, okay, yang tak familiar dengan cookie dough, I will explain to you in that what is uh, cookie dough. Cookie dough is basically a recipe library that is already built inside your thermomix but can also be uh, accessed dengan uh, you punya phone, you punya iPad ataupun you punya laptop because it is um, it's actually Wi-Fi connected. Okay, so uh, kalau you view on your phone or your or iPad or your laptop, you tak payah uh, download apa-apa app, it's actually on the website. So whatever that you save dekat, uh, bila you buka your phone, whatever that you save on your phone will be connected to your thermomix advanced kan. Uh, so this is the latest uh, thermomix punya uh, feature. So uh, thermomix sebelum ni tak ada cookie dough. So this is the first unit yang ada uh, this amazing, amazing uh, feature. Okay, so Cookie dough sekarang ni ada 73 uh, recipe dalam uh, the cookie dough website okay or inside this uh, built-in thermomix ni. Okay when I bought it last year exactly a year about a year plus ago uh, masa tu 65,000 sahaja. So within the span of one year ada an ada penambahan 6,000 uh, recipe. So of course you akan cakap thermomix ni mahal. Yes thermomix is expensive tetapi it's expensive because you will constantly get um, all these uh, updates, upgrades and additional recipes. Okay, so amount yang you beli sekarang ni is, it doesn't stop there. You will still benefit from it until years from now. Okay, so that's the best part about the Momix. Okay, so with 73,000 recipes ni, you dah tak akan risau nak masak apa because all you have to do is just scroll. Mungkin the problem that you have now is 
nak masak, yelah nak masak apa, bukan bukannya nak masak apa, aku tak tahu because there's so many recipes inside here, okay? Um, and also the reason why I purchase um, thermomix is the fact that uh, the recipe-recipe kat dalam ni, you boleh filter uh, whether you have certain types of allergy ataupun uh, you have a certain type of uh, diet, so you keto diet or you want to go for um, apa, weight loss diet or vegetarian, semua kat, ada kat dalam ni. All you have to do is just you filter dekat collections, okay? Um, ice cream yang saya or sorbet yang saya akan buat pada hari ni, it's actually dairy free and also it's um, eggless. Tak, tak ada telur. So it's perfect for my husband who suffers from eczema. So uh, what I did was uh, masa saya nak saya nak search sebelum uh, saya, uh, saya select this recipe, I search for coconut ice cream um, because kita nak relate dengan team and I filtered uh, without egg. Okay so you can do that with uh, Thermomix, you can filter that um, and without egg then dia akan keluarkan recipe-recipe. So this is one of the recipe yang tanpa telur dan dairy free. So it's perfect for those who are uh, suffering from eczema or um, any skin problem atau gatal-gatal. So it's perfect, okay? Um, okay, and then what else I want to explain? Okay, cookie dough ni, um, you have to have Wi-Fi connectivity because it is uh, a Wi-Fi connected punya uh, function, okay? So contohnya now kita nak, uh, kita dah start phase two, okay? Some uh, offices dah buka semula. So if, imagine you are at work and then you dah terfikir, okay, hari ni nak masak apa? Senang saja you book up from your phone or your laptop, you just book up the cookie dough punya website and then you put in cook today ataupun my week. Uh, you dah select for the entire week nak masak apa. So you balik rumah, you dah tak payah fikir-fikir because you balik rumah, you are busy, you dah tak payah fikir, all you have to do is just turn on your thermomix and everything is already sync inside your cookie dough here. Okay, so that's the best part about cookie dough. Okay, so without further ado, saya akan start dulu macam mana nak buat uh, coconut vanilla sorbet. So you might be wondering um, macam mana it's called, it, it can also be to me, it can also be called ice cream because kita akan menggunakan uh, santan to replace the whipping cream. Okay, so first thing first, um, dia akan suruh uh, untuk freeze kan you punya coconut water, air, air kelapa, tapi I did that overnight already, so it's best for you to do overnight. So I have placed my uh, frozen ice cube of uh, air, air kelapa yeah, yesterday and tadi saya baru place it dekat Thermomix masa, eh Thermomix pula, dekat Thermos server masa anti Kimi tengah explain. So this is uh, what we call Thermos server. Okay, Thermos, this is 2.2 liter Thermos server. Thermos server ni, it's for you to keep uh, your food warm or chill. So for example, I have ice cube. Imagine berapa lama tadi Aunty Kimi cakap and my ice cube still looks like macam baru keluar daripada freezer, right? And I I talk for what, berapa, five minutes tadi pasal cookie dough and tak cair langsung. So this is the best part about thermal server and Adrian will explain later how you can get your thermal server. All you have to do is just purchase your thermomix and you, can, uh, you have to host and you can get this for free, okay? And uh, this worth about 300 plus, so it's best for you to get it for free lah. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, okay, lepas dah freeze kan, your, my eye clapper, okay? So I have to, I skip this part lah, dia akan explain macam mana nak uh, weigh your eye and everything. Okay, so First thing first, I am going to uh, do the chocolate first, okay? So, I have 100 grams of chocolate. Kalau you you masak sini because I'm doing a demo, I already uh, pre-weigh my all my ingredients. Tapi, so, kalau you at home ke, you tak buat demo, um, you can just weigh terus. So, you you don't have to guna banyak utensil, you tak boleh juga bowl. So, straight away, okay? So, I have 100 grams of dairy-free dairy -free dark chocolate. <laughs> Uh, if, if you're not in a uh, daily punya apa, diet, you can just use normal chocolate also, okay? But make sure it's dark chocolate, that would be nicer. So now, I am going to chop uh, for 10 seconds. It's, it's going to be a bit loud, so it might be silent on your side, okay? That was eight seconds at speed. Uh, sorry, uh, ten seconds at speed A. And I'm going to show you daripada uh, chocolate kalit tadi, dia dah menjadi macam cocoa powder. It's it's very very fine. So it becomes like 
very macam powdery lah okay so this is the best part about the mix the blades are very very sharp so kalau you menggunakan blender i don't think it will take about 10 seconds it will take longer than it will take it uh, it's like it will take uh, take longer than that okay so we're going to scrape this now dan saya nak meltkan chocolate ni uh, menggunakan okay the the recipe uh, suruh guna coconut oil tapi um, orang kat dalam rumah ni tak berapa minat coconut oil so I'm going to use uh, olive oil okay Oops, sorry. okay so I will use olive oil 50 grams of uh, coconut oil tapi I'm using olive oil okay if you are familiar with the traditional way of uh, melting chocolate it's double bath method right so kalau double bath method on the stove you dah menggunakan at least berapa um, Dua, dua utensi you dah gunakan you punya uh, apa, pan uh, and saucepan and you already dah guna uh, bowl. So tu dah ada dua benda nak masuk. So with the mix, you just put everything, all, all the ingredients here and you can just melt your chocolate right away. And the best part is, bila you melt chocolate here, you dah tak payah risau dengan dia punya um, dia punya texture. Because when you melt chocolate here, the texture will always be perfect because of the uh, controlled temperature. To melt chocolate, it's best to melt at 37 degrees. Whereas on the stove, we cannot control the fire. So bila you cannot control the fire, you have to keep stirring and you have to macam, you have to always be there to make sure that the chocolate is at the perfect temperature. But not with thermomix, you can literally just leave it for about a minute and do something else or grab apa apa ingredient yang lain. Okay. Um, tadi saya dah melt for about uh, a minute at 37 degrees. Speed two. Okay. Uh, okay. After that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this away, this bowl away because this is the part of having two bowls, okay? You can also get this second bowl if you are an existing customer or if you are a new customer pun, you must still boleh mendapatkan second bowl ni at 55% off and you can save um, beratus, I think I say about 800 plus ringgit um, but macam mana nak dapatkan second bowl, Adri akan explain further but just to show you, this is uh, the advantage of having second bowl, okay? Because now I have to put this chocolate aside. Okay, this suruh saya um, transfer the chocolate aside. Okay, all right. Oh, sorry, sorry. I have to, sorry, I have to melt again for one minute. Okay, sorry. I, have to, okay, I don't need to scrape down anymore because the chocolate is still at perfect. Please, okay. Okay. So I just want to explain balik um, pasal uh, apa? double bowl, okay? So for example, you tengah masak uh, lauk or, or you masak nasi and then you want your nasi to uh, maintain panas dekat dalam your bowl and you have another lauk to masak, okay? What I usually do is I will keep my nasi inside this double bowl, uh, inside this uh, mixing bowl. I put it aside while I make another lauk, okay? Or you can put it in your thermal server, okay? But if you have second bowl, it will be perfect lah. So you just put it aside and then I, I put I punya lauk dekat sini. So once my lauk is done, because this can work as a uh, thermos server juga because this bowl, um, it has a function to keep your food warm also. Okay, so bila you tengah masak, uh, your lauk dah siap, you can just serve both. This is the perk of having two bowls lah. And on top of that, um, sometimes you are in a rush to masak uh, certain things and um, you tak payah nak basuh, nak rinse off. So Having second bowl will save a lot of time and certain people are they are not separate kind of ingredients. For example, they are allergic to certain things. It's like uh, some family members are allergic to certain things. So they don't want to mix the mixing bowl. So uh, it's best to have second bowl lah. Okay, so you, Adrian will explain later towards the end macam mana nak dapatkan your second bowl. Okay, so now this is the part where I am going to uh, scrape and supposedly letak dekat dalam uh, a container and leave it to cool but because I want to save time okay I will put it put a second bowl guys okay so next thing is to add okay did I sort of transfer I'm just keeping that okay next thing is to add hold on, okay half of the frozen coconut uh, water cubes okay so kat dalam ni ada 800 uh, gram coconut water yang dah, uh, dah di freeze kan. So I'm going to put 400 first. Okay. Agak-agak lah ya. So 400 and then we are going to blend this. Okay. It's so easy to make sorbet or ice cream at home. Trust me. Okay. 
No, it's for five seconds and it's going to be a bit loud because it's at speed nine, okay? Start the temperature. <laughs> So now at the rest of uh, ice cube, okay. I just want to show you how in five seconds you dah boleh buat ABC dekat rumah because you letak payah ada ice shaver dah because uh, the texture of ice dia uh, kalau in five seconds you cannot get this in five seconds, okay? Alright, see that? So now I have to place the rest of the frozen ice cube, uh, coconut water ice cube. Okay, all right. And then, sambung blend for another 10 seconds. Okay, at speed 9 seconds. Next is, uh, kena masukkan maple syrup, 80 gram. Tapi uh, saya nak keep it traditional, I will put um, gula melaka. You can follow maple syrup if you have. Tapi kalau you ada gula melaka, the taste will be more authentic, will be more traditional lah. Okay, so I like uh, I like gula melaka. So I am adding 800, uh, 80 gram of gula melaka. Actually, gula melaka is not as sweet as maple syrup. So if you want to add more pun boleh. Okay, because the, 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 the taste uh, won't be sweet. The, because uh, gula melaka ni, dia punya taste, uh, dia ada dia, dia ada that macam rasa rasa bakar-bakar. Bukan bakar, macam rasa that burn taste. I, I, I like that burn taste. But if you don't have um, if you don't have uh, gula melaka, you can just uh, apa, buat dengan maple syrup. Okay, and maple syrup, you can also make it from uh, thermomix recipe ada kat dalam cookie dough. So sometimes uh, if you're in the midst of making dessert ke any other ingredients, uh, apa, any other recipes, you realize, alamak, I don't have this. So the best part about this, uh, this cookie dough is that you can just search, you tak ada maple syrup, you just search how to make maple syrup and you can just make it at home. Okay, and you can also um, melt your gula melaka dekat uh, dalam thermomix ni, okay? So, oh, sorry, 80 grams of uh, gula melaka just now. And then one teaspoon of vanilla bean. Okay, um, you have to know that, where is my teaspoon? Okay, you have to know that vanilla bean is actually different from vanilla extract. So make sure that you use vanilla bean. So I need to use one teaspoon. This is uh, lagi pekat lah. Vanilla bean paste, okay? You can just get it from bakery shop or you can get it from online store. Everything is uh, accessible online, kan? Okay, that. You put that. And then 150 grams of coconut cream. Um, it's not coconut milk, it's coconut cream. Okay, so kalau you beli santan fresh dekat kedai tu, it's actually coconut milk. So this is coconut cream. It's uh, The texture is uh, lagi pekat. So if you use, the difference is if you use coconut milk, it will not become sorbet or ice cream because dia, dia akan jadi runny and then dia takkan freeze macam sorbet. Dia akan jadi macam ice beku, okay? So make sure you get that right. Uh, coconut cream, not coconut milk. The reason why I am warning you because I, when I first time did this, I looked at coconut milk. That's why lah, I, I remind all of you. Okay. Next is, okay, basically two ingredients here. Uh, coconut water, chocolate, coconut, uh, apa, uh, coconut oil ataupun olive oil. And then uh, I added, uh, what else? A maple syrup ataupun gula melaka. And then, um, coconut milk and also vanilla paste. That's it. That is the only ingredients that you need okay, to make this. So now I am going to um, turn this into a more sorbet in your texture at 30 seconds, speed nine.
ada orang tanya santan fresh boleh ke tak? Uh, not the santan fresh because that's what I did when I wanted to try this recipe. I actually beli santan fresh dekat kedai. Uh, kononnya nak lagi, rasa dia lagi sedap, lagi fresh kan? But actually it's different. Uh, yang dekat santan fresh is coconut milk. So this is coconut milk, uh, coconut cream. Coconut cream ni yang macam uh, apa? brand Cara and all that. If you purchase dekat kotak tu, dia akan tulis coconut cream. So look for coconut cream, okay? So next is to scrape down. I want to show you tadi 30 seconds, you already get this texture. See? That sorbet punya texture but we're not done yet, okay? Uh, next, I'm going to, if you want it to be more creamy, um, add coconut cream lagi tapi I don't want it because takut nanti jadi runny. So insert your butterfly whisk, okay? Now we have to insert butterfly whisk. This is the part that I can whisk the ingredients lah, okay? Set the butterfly whisk. And then, we're going to mix for another 30 seconds, okay? Whipping sound. So we're pretty much done here. Nanti saya just akan masukkan for 10 to 15 minutes inside the see. You get this sorbet. Okay, this sorbet ni. So after this, I am going to put it in the freezer for about 10 to uh, 15 minutes while uh, apa? kita ada lagi dua orang nak akan present. Okay. Sorry, now dengan Kat 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 Prizan. I'm just going to put this in the freezer later. But I will just explain to you a little bit about um, ice cream and sorbet punya function inside. Uh, we don't have a function, but you can make ice cream with uh, the more mix, okay? Um, okay, uh, just before we go that, um, I want to also explain to you that with the more mix, you can knead perfectly. Okay, the reason why you can knead perfectly is because uh, it has this function macam, macam kita dough de dekat, kita buat uh, dough dekat rumah, kita buat nak uli dough. The, the function that it has the dough function here, they follow exactly how kita uli dengan tangan. And the best part is your kneading function dekat dalam thermomix mix ni, you hanya perlukan beberapa minit sahaja. Kalau dekat rumah, sometimes you're not sure whether your your uli tu dah, dah at, the, at the perfect uh, a, a perfect texture kita. But with the mix, contohnya kalau you nak buat mantau or you want to make scones, it only takes two minutes to uh, knead you punya uh, dough. So that's that's the best part about the mix ni juga lah. Okay. So ice cream, I explained explain tadi, who knew that you can make ice cream at home? Before this, before Thermomix, I bought ice cream gunakan ni. I don't know if some of you ada benda ni ke tak, but I used to make ice cream here. What I did was I freeze my my um, my um cooking cream semua. And then I letak dalam ni and I have to like keep stirring and make sure that the texture is right. But with Thermomix, everything was just done in like, I don't know, less, less than 10 minutes and I already have my sorbet, perfect sorbet. Okay, um, and you can make this as an activity with your family, especially right now. Um, yeah, although we can keluar and everything, but we still want to make sure that uh, you stay at home as much as you can when you have kids, and you can make this an, as an activity with your children. So you don't want to choose what ice cream do they want to make. Kalau you nak what natural ice cream, it's very easy. What you do is uh, you freeze can, yeah, you freeze can fruits like this. I have a uh, dragon fruit. I have. Strawberries, I have mangoes. So every time my son rasa macam nak makan ice cream, I will make healthy ice cream because he's only two years old. So I'll make healthy ice cream. It's like a sorbet also. I have to just masukkan dalam ni. I will blend this for... <laughs> love my socks kan? So yeah, because my son loves fruit ice cream. So I will just put this inside my uh, mixing bowl and imagine I can get perfect fruit sorbet or ice cream in just 45 seconds. And imagine kalau your, your son or your uh, your daughter tengah uh, in between your online classes, they're lapar ke apa, they want snack, you can just make that. Okay? So that's the best part about making uh, ice cream or sorbet with the mommies. And you don't have to worry if your children makan banyak pun because there's no coloring, there's no preservative. Um, unlike if you buy it on the store, uh, in the store, 
you will you will know that uh, I'm sure they use preservative to last long. Okay, so basically that's uh, that's all for me. Uh, I will freeze this first for about ten to fifteen minutes, and I'm going to pass it to my colleague, my uh, another student, Zarina, and she's going to make tom yum, and then say I can do it later. Thank you. Thank you, Nazra. Hi, selamat pagi, Sawadika. Okay, so hari ni, okay, tadi like my fellow uh, cabin crews, uh, Kimi Yusof, Aunty Kimi Yusof and also Nazra, they, they orang buat masak pakai uh, guided cooking. Okay, so tapi hari ni Zarina akan demonstrate macam mana kita nak masak tom yam seafood pakai uh, manual cooking pula. Okay, so tanpa melengahkan masa. Alright, so belum mula kita perlukan, I akan masukkan 400 gram chicken broth. Okay, so you can buat, uh, you boleh rebus you punya chicken, okay, and take the broth. Ataupun kalau nak uh, senang, you can put one chicken cube or chicken stock powder ke dalam 400 grams of water. Okay, and then kita pakai uh, 400 gram fresh santan. Okay, 400 gram fresh santan. So kita masukkan sahaja. And then dua batang serai, don't worry, nanti pada TM, TM users semua nanti kita akan share out the recipe. So ada dua batang serai dan juga 30 grams uh, dengkuas, okay. So sekarang ni, um, for this recipe, kita hanya ada tiga simple steps. Alright, so sekarang kita akan boil, kita akan masak untuk enam minit. 90 darjah Celsius and speed spoon. Alright. Okay, so nampak kan with the thermomix ni uh, sangat-sangat convenient. So kita tak payah keep stirring. It does the stirring for us. Okay. And kita tak perlu monitor pun. So for 6 minit saya boleh uh, berinteraksi dengan anda semua. So okay, pernah tak terfikir kenapa eh selalunya kalau kita masak pakai stove, kita akan masak, I mean boil at 100 degrees or more. Okay, so but today kita hanya uh, boil untuk 6 minit 90 darjah Celsius. Okay, um, and this is because kita nak uh, preserve semua flavor dan nutrisi vitamins from bahan-bahan kita tadi. Okay, and dengan thermomix sahaja kita boleh ada the perfect temperature control to give out the perfect texture and flavor of our food. Alright, so lepas ni uh, kita akan masukkan, this. we will go to the second step which is kita akan masukkan enam uh, daun limau purut, uh, cili padi sembilan batang, okay, and then I gunakan this, uh, tak tahu macam nak sebut lah, but it's T-A-E-P-E-E, -E -E, T-A-P, uh, tom yam uh, cili paste, okay, so I will use this one. Alright, dalam dua cudu besar uh, tom yam paste ni, and then a uh, quarter cup of fish sauce, and quarter cup of lime, uh, lime juice, Lepas tu kita akan gunakan palm sugar. So I gunakan uh, serbuk gula merah ni dalam satu sudu besar, satu setengah sudu besar uh, uh, serbuk gula merah ni. Okay, so kita akan masukkan together with the sotong. Okay, so I am using sotong and prawns. Okay, so I want to, well tunggu lagi empat minit kita uh, to take a look at the sweet chart. Okay, yang best pasal thermal mix ni, kita boleh enjoy the best of both worlds, okay? Iaitu kita boleh uh, use low temperature cooking and also high temperature cooking. Okay, for example, bila kita nak masak sayur, okay? So, it is very, uh, uh, apa, we should, okay? It's wajar sangatlah untuk kita gunakan low temperature cooking. Tapi kalau kita masakkan over the stove tu, api tu kita tak boleh kontrol suhu dia, betul tak? Kita tak boleh kontrol, therefore, Sometimes uh, kita overcook our vegetables, okay? And not just that, yang paling penting kita actually buang semua nutrisi-nutrisi daripada sayur tu sendiri, okay? So with the thermomix, kita boleh set to 120 darjah Celsius. So giving you healthy vegetables yang di mana you punya nutrisi and vitamins are well preserved, okay? And bila you masak pakai thermomix, you akan notice uh, for all the TM users, you all dah tahu kan, bila you masak, you akan nampak your vegetables sangat vibrant dan sangat hijau. So kat situ kita dah tahu dah, semua vitamins and nutrisi dia semua dah uh, still ada, still intact kat dalam uh, sayur kita. Okay, imagine kita beli organic vegetables and then kita buang sebab apa, cook over high heat. Okay, sayang sangat. Lepas tu, bila kita nak masak something macam kita nak buat grilled beef ke atau something with high temperature uh, mode. 
So uh, now we can also dengan the recipes dekat cookie dough. Okay, so untuk high temperature cooking mode, uh, high temperature cooking recipes ni hanya boleh pakai dalam cookie dough punya recipes. Ini untuk langkah-langkah keselamatan sebab suhu yang digunakan adalah tinggi. So dia tak nak kita buat pandai-pandai buat manually because untuk safety reasons lah, safety purposes, okay? So if we want to do, when kita nak keluarkan extra flavor daripada masakan kita, okay, kita boleh gunakan uh, recipes daripada cookie dough, uh, which is the high temp, uh, using high temp cooking mode lah, okay? So kita boleh buat sorted prawns, okay, menggunakan suhu yang tinggi, so uh, flavor dari udang tu akan keluar. And then uh, kita boleh buat macam-macam uh, lagi lah, and sugar stages also. Uh, masa at 170 degrees, kita boleh buat our children punya candies, okay, candies, lollipops, so sangat-sangat best lah. Dengan thermal mix, perfect temperature kotor, kita boleh enjoy the best of both worlds, okay. So bila kita dapat control suhu tadi macam Nazra cakap, now you can actually melt your chocolate perfectly uh, at 50 degrees Celsius, okay. For melting chocolate, memang 50 degrees Celsius. So you tak perlu risau, tak payah buat the traditional way where you do the uh, double boil kan, leceh kita skip stirring because you know over the fire you tak boleh control. So that's why this is very very penting bila kita boleh control suhu tu. Okay and uh, bila kita masak, I nak just share bila masak sayur, I ada customers and even my own anak tak suka makan sayur but somehow dengan the thermal mix, sayur jadi sedap, tak lembik, tak ada tawar because uh, like I said tadi, flavors tu, dia orang preserve kan, it preserve the flavor and other that crunchiness, that manis-manis to the uh, vegetables, okay. So kat sini, you can control giving you the perfect texture. When you can control your uh, temp, uh, your suhu, kita akan ada perfect texture every time. Contohnya macam kaya, you boleh buat pumpkin soup, yam paste dessert, Okay, homemade yogurt, okay, and and don't worry sebab all the recipes kat cookie dough are tried and tested so you memang akan dapat perfect texture all the time, okay. So, diorang dah R&D, the team dah, dah, dah test all these recipes, okay, and because of the temperature control, banyak international uh, chefs also from, macam from master chef and all, they use this machine to create the perfect sauces for their rancangan, okay, for their competition. Okay, so just a quick one, it's sangat-sangat convenient to have a thermal mix because kalau you nak cepat, you can actually make nasi ayam dalam masa 35 minutes to 40 minutes, okay? Because you masak serentak, okay? You uh, menggunakan four layer cooking. Okay, my husband yang tak masak before this pun, kadang-kadang dia tolong I masak sebab it's so easy. Cooking has never been easier, okay? Um, thermal mix ni memang memudahkan sangat. So, kita boleh buat four layer cooking. Okay, so when you hear this sound, means we are ready for the next step. Okay, so now I akan masukkan the daun lima puruk tadi. Alright. Lepas tu, uh, sembilan batang cili padi. But um, this tom yum is keep friendly. Dia tak pedas because kita tak potong lah. But if you want it to be spicy, then you can ch um, chop it a little bit so that uh, you get the spiciness. Okay, so kita letak our tom yum paste ni. This chili, Thai chili paste. Sorry. Okay. And then kita akan masukkan kita punya fish sauce. Okay. Quarter cup fish sauce tadi. And also lime juice. Alright. Okay. So my lime juice. The gula um, merah tadi. And my sotong. Okay, so kita akan masukkan sotong terus kat dalam. So now kita akan masakkan dia for another 8 minit. Sama suhu dia uh, 90 darjah Celsius. Alright, so 8 minit. Sembilan puluh darjah Celsius. And make sure to click reverse uh, blade, okay, and the slower speed, yeah, which is speed spoon. So, uh, the blade tu ada two sides to it. Satu is the part yang tumpul dan satu lagi yang tajam. So, make sure bila kita dah masukkan bahan-bahan kita macam sotong ke daging-daging, our meat and everything, sayur ke, make sure you enable the reverse blade lah, okay, so so that dia akan pakai the blunt side of the blade. Alright, okay, so I sambung. So, hari tu, okay, what can you cook um, menggunakan yang four layer cooking ni, yang nasi ayam tadi I cakap, you can do 
uh, within 40 minutes macam tu you cook serentak okay ke atas you masak your chicken uh, the top tray tadi baru my tray tu you can do your egg custards and then i mean your steamed eggs and then your ayam kat bawah in the baroma tray kat sini and then uh, you cook the rice and kat bawah sekali here is your soup okay and macam hari tu my husband did me curry so dia boleh uh, steam the telur sawi mi and also masak kuah serentak so sangat sangat convenient alright so memang best it comes with a steamer so i nak talk about the four uh, modes okay so kita juga ada kettle mode okay So this kettle mode, okay, it's not like your uh, abis kita punya kettle yang uh, the, the regular uh, kettle sebab yang tu kalau kita nak masak air, dia memang 100 degrees kan but now this one, dia kita punya thermomix ni, kita boleh kotor suhu and you tahu tak yang sebenarnya kita punya tea tu atau coffee is not necessarily best taken at 100 degrees, okay so actually certain tea macam your green tea is perfect to be taken at 75 degrees Okay, so kalau kita pakai kereta uh, biasa, kita susahlah nak kontrol suhu, betul tak? So sekarang ni dengan thermomix, you can just set to 75 degrees and even if you want to heat up your anak, uh, I mean the baby food, you can set it to 37 degrees. Okay, and if you want to brew perfect coffee, you can now set it to 95 degrees. Okay, so kita ada a lot of other functions. Okay, you have your built-in weighing scale, macam Aunty Kimi cakap tadi, your built-in weighing scale. You have your dough mode. Okay, so you can make really nice bread, really fluffy gerbu cantik je, roti you. Okay, and we have turbo mode. Okay, it takes us only six seconds to make lemonade using turbo function. Okay, how awesome is that, kan? Okay, and yang best kali, another thing yang I suka, it has this pre-clean mode. Okay, so it helps you, dia pre-clean. You boleh pre-clean, so it helps you to loosen up your dough bits ataupun dia hilangkan kerak-kerak atau leftovers daripada masakan kita lah. Especially kalau kita buat um, macam... Uh, cream caramel. So caramel tu kan when dia dah sejuk, it will harden inside your mixing bowl but it's so amazing with the uh, pre-clean mode ni dia akan sekejap je, cepat je dia akan uh, dissolve everything, dia akan cairkan and it's senang lah. Yang nak ke, uh, nak bersihkan your mixing bowl ni senang. Okay, kettle mode, blend mode, blending mode, uh, slow cook, fermentation and sous vide. Okay, so this is another one. You can also, it is also your slow cooker. So kita boleh slow cook kita punya sup tulang and everything for up to seven uh, sorry eight hours on reverse mode. Okay, so you boleh lah uh, masa uh, your sup tulang and memang cantik lah you will get that meat for off from the bones. Okay, memang sedap. Okay, so kita boleh buat beef stew, kita boleh boleh buat braised duck. Okay, you can also siapa suka lamb shanks. Okay, you guys can also do braised lamb shanks. We have awesome recipes dalam cookie dough. Ada about seventy three thousand plus maybe sekarang. Okay, and it gets better, yeah. Okay, it gets better to yang best. Red bean soup, okay. So, we can do slow cook mode. We can use slow cook mode to masak juga, okay. Ha, ini pun best. Kita juga ada fermentation mode. So, now you can also make your own cheese and yogurt. Ha, best kan. You just have to buy the starter and you can make your own yogurt already. So, usually kita buat macam malam sebelum. I mean, you do at night. So, that in the morning, you can already have your Yogurt. So kita just ferment it for about up to 12 hours and you can uh, makan dah. Okay. So another mode is the sous vide mode. Okay. Sous vide mode ni is for you to masak your steaks and salmon. Okay. Um, dia masak, cara dia masak ni. Okay. Usually the fine dining restaurants, dia orang pun, they have the sous vide machine to cook their steaks and salmon. Sebab tu you tengok dia punya daging tu macam so tender kan. Juicy, dia tak kering. It's so moisture like that. Okay. So um, they use the uh, ba, uh, water bath method. So how they do it is, they masukkan dalam ziplock or airtight uh, apa um, uh, ziplock bag ataupun uh, vacuum seal bag. So first kita marinate semua perak ayam tu, kita masukkan dalam bag tu, and then you isi air in your mixing bowl, okay? And then you need to put lemon inside. So you panaskan and you actually masak inside that ziplock bag put it in the water. So that's how kita masak. So bila dah habis masak tu, uh, you akan tengok memang sangat juicy. Sangat juicy, sangat um, dia moist, dia preserve the moisture also of your meat, okay. So kalau you rasa macam nak nak crispy sikit on the outside, you can just seal over the pan. Uh, depending, uh, depending um, you nak macam mana, okay, kalau well done ke, 
Uh, so you can just save between 40 seconds to 1 minute macam tu. Terpulang pada you, okay? So, um, yeah. You can also have your sous vide eggs, okay? Boleh masak at 63 degrees atau 66 darjah celsius ataupun 69 darjah celsius, okay? So, dia akan bagi texture berlainan lah. Kita juga ada egg boiler mode. So, kalau rasa macam nak have your perfect uh, telur setengah masak, dah tak payah ragu-ragu dah. Kita just pilih je mode dia. Nak terus tengah masak ke, nak hard boil eggs ke, dia memang akan perf, jadi dia akan keluar cantik. Dia akan perfect lah, masak perfectly like how you want it to be, okay. So, memang the the engineers or the person who invented this machine memang brilliant now to me. Okay, imagine 120 engineers work together in building us this super kitchen machine, okay. And and memang, I I think they are brilliant lah, okay. So, kita ada about 1 minute and 40 seconds. So, lepas ni, I akan masukkan my mushroom, okay. You can use any mushroom but I suka this uh, brown mushrooms. So, around 200 grams. So, kita akan juga masukkan uh, bawang holder ni, half bawang and half tomato, uh, half tomatoes but this one is small tomato so I masukkan dia satu. And about four to 600 grams of udang. Okay, I guna udang yang besar-besar sikit lah, uh, udang minyak. And also your coriander, daun ketumbar ni kita akan masukkan. And kita akan masak for lagi 3 minit. Sama je suhu dia, 90 darjah Celsius. Lepas tu, I akan pass to our next cabin crew. Okay, so kita tunggu lagi 56 uh, second. Okay, so uh, basically, I memang super gila my thermomix. Okay, I really love my thermomix because it helped me a lot lah. Number one is really convenient. Um, kita tak perlu nak monitor, kita tak perlu nak jaga api. So, having uh, two kids lagi dengan tengah online classes, nak kena monitor them and then also I have a toddler who's turning two soon in October so it can be hands full kan. So bila ada temuan mix ni, dia membantu sangatlah kita dalam memasak. So kita just masukkan bahan and set the time temperature speed and then we can just leave it. And kita tak perlu uh, risau pasal dia hangit ke, terbakar ke and macam hari tu buat kaya pun I boleh tinggalkan aja. Once I dah masukkan bahan, I just set the time, temperature and speed and I boleh pergi keluar pergi kedai. When I balik, the thing dah siap and it's smart enough. This is a smart kitchen machine. Dia akan sit in there. Kalau kita tak usik dia, dia akan automatically be switched off. So you tak perlu risau, okay? So, dah siap. Um, I tak boleh nak tunjuk because there's a lot of uh, liquid. So later, I will show you guys. So sekarang kita masukkan. This is our last step. We masukkan our mushrooms. Okay, our um, bawang tadi. Okay, um, tomatoes. Um, and udang. Okay. Kita masukkan udang. Alright, and lastly is my uh, daun ketumbar ni. Okay. Daun ketumbar. So, uh, for this step, kita akan masakkan dia. Okay, I'm just going to push everything down sikit. Kita akan masakkan dia untuk 3 minit. 90 degrees. 3 minit. Ninety degrees Celsius and reverse spoon. Okay. So that's it. Step yang tiga step yang sangat mudah. So lepas ni kita boleh... Uh, buat plating and also garnish it with kita punya uh, daun ketumbar tu lagi ke atas. Alright, so it's really really convenient. It's super easy to cook with the tomato mix. Fast and easy. Ada 73,000 recipes for you to, you know, explore. And you will be creative in your cooking. That's the most important thing. Tak adalah repeat lauk sama every time. So you ada je pun nak try. Tom yam lah, pimi tom yam pasta lah and we have awesome um, customer support group where we share a lot of recipes and uh, tips and tricks about the thermomix. So contact your advisors. Now I will pass to my next a fellow cabin crew, Kat Kat, uh, to present her dish. Thank you. Sawadika, sabay di mai. Thank you for watching, okay? I'm so happy so many of you in our Thai airway today, you know, going to Bangkok. So today I want to show you how I make my dish, my Thai muscle, okay? But before I show you how to make, I want to share with you 
why I buy the thermomix because I actually I love entertaining my friend at home you know before COVID I invited maybe four or five people to come and eat at my friend at my place one time full table you know and I cooking many many dishes I cooking maybe tom yam maybe uh cup cacao maybe um uh can soap and had vegetable have some but many but Although only five people sitting at my table, nah, I cooking four hour early. Yeah, four hour early. Why I say four hour early? Because I have to blending. Sometimes the herb, I want to roasting. I use kuali, you know, so already blender, already kuali. And then I want to make my tom yam, already have soup in another, in another pot, you know. And then I want to fry my fish or maybe make a uh, steamed fish. Now I can already use another steamer. Ah, so many. And then after everybody going home, my sink, like that, I have to wash, you know. But now my life changed. My life changed already now after I have tamomi. Because tamomi, it do blending, it do roasting. You know, it makes your soup inside. It, ah, it's so easy. I show you. You know, believe me, I show you. Uh, uh, what saying here? I have chat. What what she's saying? Mm, mm. Okay, you let me cooking, okay? You see, people say, you know, buy tamome. Mm, tamome for people don't know how to cook. No, it's no. I'm telling you, tamome is for people, professional cooking, it's for chef. It for people good at cooking. It for people new learning how to cook. You know, it's for everybody. It's good. Okay, I show you. I make it Thai myself. Okay, okay. Now it says start cooking. Now it say here we put paprika, but because we know how to cook, maybe we say oh paprika Thai dish. Maybe not so spicy. You know, so maybe we put chili paddy. So I I tuka. Okay, I take. I put chili paddy in here, okay? Chili paddy. The one I already wear because we want to do a show for you. You're watching quick, okay? Watch it fast. But normal day, I know ways. I, I just read it. Ah, chili paddy. I go fridge. I take chili paddy. I put. Oh, onion. I go take onion. I put. But today for you, I weigh everything already, okay? And then it say neck, okay? Neck. Neck is what? Uh, saffron, okay, kuni, uh huh, mm, kuni. We put kuni inside here already. Already have kuni. Already have kuni. Hello, Sita. Did one have what saying? Chatting to me at the bottom. You right? You reading? You reading? Okay. And then you say cumin seed. Cumin seed. And then next, it say here coriander seed. I already have coriander here for you. Okay. I put coriander. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Everything here, your menu is all on cookie dough. You want to follow 100%, you can. If you want to change, you can. You be creative, okay? Now, next. Now, you say, okay, you close, okay? You close. Because now, you want to roasting our herb, okay? See, it's really easy. It's roasting in here. Normal day, I roasting. I use kuali, you know? And after that, I have to use blender. Many, many things I want to wash, okay? Okay, next. Okay, now it says a peat one. Yeah, it's a peat one. We're waiting. Okay. Very easy. It's very quick. That's why I love tamome. Tamome is not for people who don't know how to cook only. It's for everybody. Sita, can you read it? What are you saying at the bottom? I cannot see. And then. One more thing I want to show you. I want to tell you something, you know. Ever since I buy tamome, I have so much time with my family. Yeah, because before, if I go to the kitchen, I want to cook. I cook it uh, starting 8 a.m., okay? Pagi, hour, 8 a.m. I want to cook it many, many for our Sunday, you know, Sunday breakfast, you know. Maybe 10 30, maybe I finish because I want to clean my kitchen, make it spotless. But now with Tomo make it's no washing. I do everything in here, maybe sometimes a minute, sometimes 20 minutes, you know, depend. Or easy, no easy. And then I do plating, 
20 minutes, everybody here at the table is already kenyang. Yes, it's already kenyang. Before 30 minutes, I maybe uh, after blending, after roasting, I maybe uh, saute chicken, maybe. It's not finished. Hmm. Sinterni, what people say, you telling me. Have question? Me? Have question? No, oh, he will be. Mm. Okay. And when I buy thermomix, I'm telling you, it's the truth. When I buy thermomix, big one is doing the work, okay? And then I check, I check my son homework. Okay, I show you. Still roasting? I check. Oh, oh he do homework. Ah, okay, finish, okay. Oh, good, good. Still not finish, you know? It's, it's put my heart, oh. Uh, what uh, Malay people say? Senang hati, huh? Senang hati. Oh, he do his homework. Good. Oh, good. He do all homework. Oh, okay. And then have a little bit of time. You feel like, oh, you want to rest day. You want to drink a little bit of coffee. You can. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you. Mm. See? Oh, see, you did. Have question at the bottom. What are you saying? What are you saying to me? Huh? Very funny. Very funny. Very funny. I'm cooking. I, hello, sister. You check. People can listening. People can listening me saying, "Do Bismillahirrahmanirrahim." Mm. You see, it's no. This is no joking. I drinking coffee during my my meal for my family. It cooking a conventional style at the quali. You cannot sit there. Mm -hmm. You cannot. You can how you wanna pull your quali. You ah, finish. Okay, we put coffee aside first, nah. Mm. Okay, then we see our next step here. Okay, now it's say press neck. You know, if you uh difficult, you tired the day, or maybe you dumb up, it's okay. You can ask your daughter or your son to help because here one by one telling you what to do. Okay, now neck is say uh uh with measuring cuts inside. Okay, already, already. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I forgot, sorry. Did one original recipe time master? They have no um did one coriander uh root okay aka ketumba okay Malay people say but because did one I want a bit more aroma I'm gonna put down ketumba and then it blending for you okay oh so easy so easy now I prep butter then it's hey speed one some more I see thing again talking to you. Mm. You see, it's so easy, my life. Mm. Before, if I want to cook many, many, my mother-in-law called me. Hello, I want to come to your house. I want to eat at your house, okay? I said, oh, you want to come to my house? Uh, what time you want to come to my house? Uh, maybe one hour, mother-in-law said. Uh, one hour? Uh, 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 what you want to eat, you know? But one hour, want to come? I can only make maybe... I maybe can only making soup simple soup according to ikan sayo. Because one hour is. Uh, uh, yet, yeah, hold on, hold on. Mm. Yet, yeah, I come in, I come in. Okay, okay. So, just now already roasting, already blending for you. Now it's hey, next, okay? Everything step by step for you. Okay, now we put oil, okay? Oh, I didn't take oil here. Darling, you go to kitchen. Hello, you go to kitchen. You take oil in the glass jar for me. The oil, uh, the oil, you waiting. Okay, so when I buy this one, help one day, I sake perot, not because of, uh, you know, the every month, you know, lady sake perot. My daughter, she made, uh, she made pasta for me, for one family. I know Jaka because she already read here one by one. Okay, did one say a 30, uh, 30 gram oil? Okay, we put oil. You know, worry, everything is here telling you what to do. Okay, okay, oil. Yeah. Okay, and then now, next. Okay, now we close. Okay. And then now we put speed one. It's so easy. And then when my daughter do the pasta, it's so good. My husband said, oh, uh, you order from bread food. I said, excuse me. Excuse me. I don't order. My daughter made here. 
Come, come on, man. Oh, no owner. And then one more thing. Everything I buy now, uh, come on, man. I'm no owner already from uh, this one. Um, all the food, me. No, because I think, oh, I can make. Like before, I feel, oh, I'm going to eat me curry. Me curry. Mm, I'm searching your help. Very nice. And then sometimes my daughter, she like Korean food. She want like, um, Gangnam chicken, you know, Gangnam chicken have chili. I said, oh, Korean chicken help. Very easy to do. Yeah. Then my husband, he just testing me one night watching football. Nah, huh? He say, um, uh, it's true. A tomato can make nice pepperoni like that. He asking me. I said yes. Not oh, finished already. Okay. After that, I tell you story pepperoni. Uh, okay. What here now? We ne? Mm -mm, ne? Okay, and then okay, it says here put brown sugar, but I don't want put sugar in my food, so it's okay, you can skip, it's no problem, you know. Skip, okay, and then now I say put coconut milk 400 gram. Okay, so I put coconut milk first. I uh, story you Katari after this, huh? mm. okay? So 400, darling, you're looking at eh, 400, mm. okay, very easy, it's very easy. Why? You don't worry anything, even your baby can do. You have baby, maybe a four-year-old can do. It's no problem. Okay. Okay, finish. And then, I think we close now. Oh, no, sorry, I have put chili. I already cut for you. Big one, red chili. You want to put red chili also? Can you want put chili party also? Okay, up to you. You're cooking. You, you're the boss. You'll be creative, okay? So you put chili and then it say put varoma. Okay, put varoma with the muscle. I'm showing you, okay? Big one is my varoma dish. Okay, I have muscle already. i cleaning already. See? Very fresh. Oh, oh, have a bit of water. You give me tissue. Okay, and then I want to tell you, uh, although big one have muscle already, okay, but on the menu here, it say uh, maybe have to steam 15 minutes, but I not do that one, because our uh, muscle is local, it's not international muscle, okay, so international muscle is very big, you know, 15 minutes, did one, no, did one, I only going to do a little bit only, oh, what do you want to do, darling, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, you work, you work, okay, so it stay here, put a uh, muscle. We already put muscle. And then now cover. Did one with a cover? Cover with Varoma. Uh, did one, okay? With a cover, cover. And then it say here, turn speed to one. But before, I want to tell you, did one, I press like this. And then I want to reverse a little bit the time. Maybe only sitting, I think it's six minutes because it's really small, okay? Six minutes, okay? So you can adjust, you don't worry. Okay, so now we go to speed one. Hang on, something wrong here. Oh, I, I'm talking to everybody, I forgot, I'm talking, oh. Everybody. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Like just now, have a little bit of accident because I forgot. I speak. It's a big. It's a big. I'm talking to you. You know, I'm putting, but I know put the lid. You know, worry because even like that happened. It machine it cannot move because it say uh, excuse me you no put the lid on so even your baby can do now we starting okay i already do a six minute and then we put the speed one and now it correct now only it moving okay so six minute is the team for you okay now just now i tell you when my husband say one do tetari i said of course the uh tomomi do best tetari in the world but it may be you don't want a tetare. Maybe you want something difficult. I can do for you. He said, huh? Can do difficult. I said, anything. Oh, thank you. I said, anything you want. And he said, oh, maybe we try making like coffee like at a shop, you know? I said, I can do for you. And no problem, you know? 
So I ended up making like a frappe coffee, you know, have cream, mm, have coffee, put ice, put a little bit of uh, walnut inside. Oh, it tasting like 100% like the one at the coffee shop. Yeah, I tell you, I guarantee you, oh, you know? So I'm very happy I buy this one, you know? And then now a lot of people asking me, uh, it's true, it's true you cooking with the autonomy, you know, missing using Kuali. I'm telling you, once upon a time, before I buy this one, I, I might so I tell people, mm, I don't want to buy autonomy. If I buy autonomy, I know listen to the Kuali song. I know, he, you know, I'm missing. And then I have a expensive pot, you know, I buy, mm, I cannot use. But who say now I already yield it all on me. I can yield because after we pin it, you know, you want to do your plating, you can put in your pot, you know, whatever pot you have. La pomme, la crusade, everything. It's no problem. It's your creativity. But you see, now I have nothing to wash. Today I just washed the little, little uh, bowl because I do show. But if no show, I don't use bone. I take everything from the shelf, from the fridge. I just wash it and say, I just put in, you know? And you know how to wear it at all because if you do something a little bit wrong, like me just now, because I was talking to you, I forgot to put the lid, it no moving. If we do on the conventional cooker, you know, on the stove, if you already put everything, the fire is big, you put everything, it, you know, it's that simmer, you know, so um, Malay people say, don't bar, don't bar. you know, so you cannot control the fire. If this one, everything here is controlled, you know, you use Wi-Fi, uh, technology, mm. because now we're going, uh, moving forward, you know, we have to be, uh, what we say, uh, Machu, okay? So now, when, now we're a little bit waiting, okay, for everything to be steaming, but almost done, you know, worry, okay? So we're waiting for this. I want to pass back over to my lady board, okay? To Esreen, okay? I see you later. I do plating for you. I see you later, okay? Okay, I'm back, ya Allah. Macam mana I nak keep up that thing? I cannot. Okay, I cannot stick tight. Okay, but we are almost landing to Bangkok. Okay, so just to wrap up. Okay, so the benefits of using Thermomix. Okay, so kalau you nampak tadi, everything was quick and easy. Okay. Okay, so it was quick and easy. Okay, so kalau you nak buat your drinks, macam you nampak tadi Nazra buat her ice cream. How long was that? Kejap je. Kalau you buat our signature drink, lemonade, it takes six seconds. Okay, and easy because you nampak most of them today guna cookie dough. It's very easy. You just butter the instruction, letak-letak the ingredients and you just press next and just after that siap. Okay, and then everybody can cook because we have our cookie dough. So kalau you memang jenis yang tak pandai masak langsung, when you get your thermomix, you don't have to worry. Okay, you can use cookie dough to start with. Everything is guided for you, so you have the perfect results. Even your husband masak, your anak masak, you masak, everything is consistent. Okay, and it's also healthy when you cook dengan thermomix ni. Sebab kita masak dekat low, uh, we use low temperature cooking, you get to preserve all the nutrients. Okay, it's because buying good ingredients is important, but apa lagi important is how you cook your dish. Okay, the way you cook your dish. So low temperature is actually very important, so that you can absorb all the good nutrition okay and auto cooking and also we have the auto washing mode okay so macam nampak tadi all of them kakak semua masak sampai masak you can actually talk or you can do other things you don't have to be there to worry about you know whether you nak the bakar ke or you have to stir it you tak payah to think about all that and we also have our pre-clean mode so you may choose based on apa you masak so kalau you buat roti ke you masak this recipe to mis to mis ke, or you kalau you buat uh, browning or you buat caramel so you boleh choose uh, the mode that you want you letak air halfway just a few squirts of detergent and they are can clean thoroughly for you okay and space saving so you no longer have to have banyak appliances in your kitchen anymore all you need is one Mommy, or two no. or more mix okay Mommy. okay okay put it there, put it there. <laughs> sorry okay so 
Yeah, you only need your thermomix. Okay, you can keep or donate or jual your other appliances. Okay, and goodbye to cooking fumes. Okay, so when you cook with thermomix, we don't get fumes because we are not burning the oil and burning over burning our food. So apa you tengok is all just vapor. Okay, dia bau sedap kejap tapi dia tak melekat dekat you. Tapi fumes ni when you cook on the fire tu, dia akan lekat kat your baju, your rambut, your tudung semua. So you memang after that kalau you nak keluar memang tak boleh lah. You have to mandi first baru you nak keluar. Okay, but with the moment you boleh masak sambal dalam ni, you masak lah apa-apa yang berbau ke apa, tapi after that you still look good, you still smell good and you can go out straight away. Okay. Alright, so the price again is 6988. Okay, so we have our promotion. Kalau you bayar one time full payment, you can choose one of our cookbooks. Okay, we have Easy Meals or the Malay Kitchen. Okay, so you please choose either one of this. This is our award winning one. This one, kalau you um, uh, you want to buy, as you want to choose recipes for family, ke, then you can choose this book. Okay, you have like Korean egg bread, whole meal loaf, salami, banana yogurt, chicken porridge, uh, Thai style mee hoon. Okay, very, very lovely recipes. And of course, our Malay kitchen, you have your sambal. Okay, you have your soto masak hitam, nasi dagang. Okay, for base masak lemak putih. Okay, this is really wonderful. So you can choose one of the cookbooks, and then the rest um and and the rest of the payment plans you can claim this thermo server. Tadi macam Nazra cakap. Okay, so this thermo server is a two point two liter thermo server, sama capacity dengan our mixing bowl. Okay, so apa apa yang masak dalam ni memang boleh muat dalam our thermo server. And they will keep your food warm or cool. So macam Nazra tadi dia letak dia punya coconut ice cubes kan dalam ni. So it will keep it cool. And kalau you masak benda awal ke let's say you masak dinner pukul 4 ke 5 ke nak makan 1 to 2 hours later you just keep it in here. They akan keep your food warm. Okay this is high grade stainless steel in your bowl and this is 360 ringgit. So with any payment plan if you buy today you can get you can claim this if you host a demo. Okay, host a demo means you invite at least three friends to come and watch our demo macam hari ni. Okay, we have three demos every weekend. Satu English and dua yang bilingual. And you just invite three friends and just let your advisor know and they will claim the, uh, the thermo server bowl for you. Okay, so we also have another promo for existing customers. Like Nazra cakap juga just now, it's good to have two bowls. So if you refer a sale to your advisor, um, you can buy our mixing bowl together with the simmering basket. Okay, so this whole thing, the value is 1531. You can buy this for only 698. Okay, so the mixing bowl, this whole set dengan simmering basket, the lid semua lah, the mixing knife at the lock, for only 698. Okay, so this is only it only happens one time a year. Okay, hari tu dah jalan for four weeks and now uh, our company extended for another four weeks. Okay, so this, the first week, another three weeks to go. So go invite your friends and families to come and see our demo. So if you refer the sale to your advisor, you can get your mixing bowl, your second one for 690. Sangat-sangat useful. You can separate your uh, food. Kalau let's say you are the vegetarian in your family or you want to separate your baby food ke, or you just want to cook faster, okay? Instead of having two thermomix, you can start with two mixing bowls first and then later think about your second thermomix. Okay, so contact your advisor today. So the whole set you can dapat with the accessories plus our basic cookbook, okay? This basic cookbook is really, really useful. Ada banyak awesome recipes and ada at the back ni, okay, for those yang dah ada thermomix, do check out at the back of the book ada uh, some tips, okay? How to chop, what is the... Uh, the instruction for chopping, for steaming. Okay, this book is very awesome. And whatever recipe dalam buku ni has also been digitalized. Okay, so recipe dalam ni, you can find it in Cookie Do Terus. It's already safe in your machine. So you can start cooking immediately when you get your machine. Okay, and we also have uh, that uh, cooking classes macam ni every weekend. Okay, so you can ask your advisor for the link or what, um, uh, what are we cooking uh, for the weekend. Okay, and we also do free delivery all over Malaysia. So, kalau you have family and friends that is Malaysia pun, we do deliver there for free. Okay, and we um, also do unboxing service. 
Okay, because now susah sikit nak jumpa, so we do this via Zoom. Uh, or if you need more help, you can do a one-to-one -one session juga via video call. Okay, and we also offer two-year warranty against manufacturing defect. Okay, and if you enjoy, uh, you know, uh, what we do, if you want to be an advisor like us, you want to join uh, the company, do talk to your advisor and ask how to earn your second thermomix for free. Okay, I love this, um, this career. I've been doing this for two years now and it's very fulfilling uh, because you get to make other people happy. You know, you get to see other families um, happy and they start cooking instead of spending so much money on food deliveries. Okay, so who would you recommend uh, this thermomix to or who should you invite to our cooking shows? Okay, so if you have friends yang who are very busy, busy professionals, okay, bukan diorang tak pandai masak, diorang pandai masak, but they don't have time to cook. Okay, so they end up ordering a lot of um, deliveries. Okay, so I know a lot of customers who buy from me yang beli sebab they have to work from home, they have to juggle kids, and they still have to cook. Okay, but diorang dah spend so much money on deliveries, they want to change their lifestyle. So they buy at the moment. So if you know friends yang macam ni, reach out to them, invite them to our demo. Okay, or if you know friends who don't know how to cook, okay, yang tu kesian sikit lah, don't know how to cook. So, but with the moment, we have our cookie do, you have no excuse really. Memang senang sangat nak, uh, nak masak with the moment. Okay, just use cookie do, you have to go buy the ingredients. You can start with simple, simple recipes first. Okay, and also maybe friends with children. Okay, so children, of course, kita nak bagi healthy, nutritious food on the, uh, every day. So it's best to cook for them. Okay, we have plenty of recipes in cookie do that you can try for your kids. I even save a folder just for my kids punya food. Okay, so if I want to cook something for them, I just choose something. And it's also a good bonding time. Okay, so my son always minta jom buat cookies together, buat cake lah. You know, so we get to participate together and bond. Okay, so before we end, I want to say thank you. We are almost in Bangkok already. So let's show our dishes today. Okay, we will start with Antikimi, and then we go to Nazra, and then uh, Zarina, and then back to Kat. Okay, thank you so much. And please reach out to your advisors and order your Thermomix today. The waiting time is around three weeks right now. So get your Thermomix today. Okay, so let's go to Antikimi with her uh, Thai milk tea. Yes. Hello. Hi. Okay, ni dia. Okay, dengan, dengan condensed milk. Boleh juga macam ni buat. Bila dah siap, kita curah, 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 curah. And then, straw, kata kacau. Okay. And then, I prepared already varieties tadi kan? Dan kita cakap tadi, varieties yang letak ubah. Then letak condensed milk ke bawah. Then you start tadi. Okay. Then the other one is crepe. Okay dah, cair dah. Okay, <laughs> fine. Alright. And then one more yang tadi awal-awal tadi kan. Bila dah masak tadi panas. Ini yang panas punya. Okay. Namanya apa? Namanya Kadamron. <laughs> Bukan. Karom. Ah, Charom. Yang panas punya. Alright, itu aja. Nah, tiga banyak ni ha. Kali buat dah banyak. Lima bekas dapat. Okay. Ha, sangat. Okay, yang tak masuk uh, cockpit ya, eh? Air? Okay, cockpit. Okay, pala. <laughs> Aisyah. Okay, okay, now we go to Nazra. <laughs> okay, this is your coconut uh, sorbet with uh, coconut vanilla sorbet with a uh, chocolate dipping and say toasted uh, as i will add toasted coconut on top so only in glamour uh, glamour mix airlines you will be served with coconut shell mana ada airline nak shell dengan coconut shell kan so please get your thermal mix jangan tunggu lama-lama because imagine you can do this with your children it only took me about what 10 10 minutes untuk buat ni and you can get your perfect coconut sorbet and now uh, i'm going to pass to zarina tunjuk dia punya tom yum okay so this is my tom yum seafood boleh nampak tak okay <laughs> Can you see? Yep. Yeah. There, is, there you have it. So, tiga easy steps. Okay. So, yes, contact your advisors. Okay. Place a 
Thermomix machine today. It's really, really convenient. My cooking has never been easier. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, so did one, it might, oh, tumpa, you see, oh. Anyway, did one is my Thai muscle. You can see how good it looking. It's okay, darling, a little bit only, you know? Normally like did you maybe have to buy outside, but now you can make on your own. But before we go, I just want, I'm gonna show you how my girl, she liking or not liking the recipe, you try. Okay, you open, you open, you open. We wait for girl to say good or no good because children, they don't lie. If good, they say good. If no good, it's no good. Okay, put in your mouth. And I want to know how the taste you're telling. Ah. <laughs> take it, take it, no problem. Take it, put it in your mouth. It's muscle. Okay. Mm. Come, you show, you show, you show your face. You show your face. It is good. It is good, she said. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Thank you. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, so before we go, we just show all the dishes, okay? All right. pelik pula, pegang coconut shell dulu. Buka. Okay. Zarina. Okay, okay you can serve this with hot um, nasi panas and telur dadar. Memang sedap. Sedap, dua-dua. And Zarina. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you Enjoy everyone. Enjoy Bye. 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 Bye.